What exactly is the difference between the Luna Moth and the Domestic Silk Moth, and why can the Luna Moth live in the wild while the Domestic Silk Moth is chained to humans? While the Luna Moth thrives in the wild, the Domestic Silk Moth has been profoundly shaped by thousands of years of human cultivation. These thousands of years of cultivation has left the Domestic Silk Moth with no defense mechanisms, leaving them completely vulnerable to predators. The Luna Moth, on the other hand, has developed through adaptation, and through adaptation, the Lunas develop these really cool eyes on the back of their wings to mimic predator eyes, which startle and deter attackers. This one is my favorite. It's that the Luna evolved to misdirect bat echolocation, which also reduces predation while their pale green wings blend with foliage for daytime resting. Did you know that Luna's tail streamers enhance their ability to evade bats? Unfortunately, the domestic silk moth's domestication led to the atrophy of wing muscles, making them incapable of flight. While this adaptation conserves energy, it makes them entirely reliant on humans for reproduction. Well-developed wings allow for effective nocturnal flight, which is essential for finding mates and avoiding predators. The one thing both of these moths have in common is that neither eats in the adult stage and this is an adaptation among all silk moths. What's really neat about wild moths is how they adapt to their environment allowing the species to thrive for generations. Unfortunately that just isn't possible for the domestic silk moths who have been bred for silk production versus survival traits. So do all silk moths spin silk cocoons? They sure do. However the domestic silk moths was selectively bred to produce large amounts of high quality silk which in turn created a moth who couldn't escape its own cocoon. But this didn't matter because they were boiled before their emergence and a moth who can't escape means they produced a lot of silk. In this video, you can visually see the difference between the Luna Moth's adaptations to survive in the wild versus the domestic silk moth's traits, which reflect human intervention, prioritizing silk production and reproductive deficiencies over natural survival. And that's the story of two silk moths, one shaped by nature and the other by human hands. What do you think? Would you trade survival for silk? Let me know in the comments.